What's up guys, Alex here, GuitarForce.com So in today's lesson we're going to take a look at a song called Raider Love by Golden Earring and uh, this was kindly requested and supported by Kevin so big big thanks goes out to him for the, for the support um, In this uh, lesson we're going to take a look at all of the parts of the song the tabs and the backing track uh, which is not mine but uh, I found it on the internet um, but I put it together with the tabs as a package are going to be available at guitarforce.com or on my Patreon page. You can find the link links in the description box down below. Also, I'll try to put to post uh, a playthrough of the entire song onto my other channel. Uh, and uh, if YouTube allows it, you you will find the uh, link in the description box down as well. Uh, for this song, uh, I was using as always um, the uh, VST plugin guitar rig. And I'm going to show you the picture of the preset right now. We're going to be in standard tuning on all the strings. Uh, so while you're checking out the picture of the preset, I'm going to play you my low E string so you can tune up and play along with this lesson. Alright, so as always we're going to break up the lesson into parts. We're going to start off with the intro part. So it goes like this at the beginning. So single notes here starting on the 4th fret of the A string. Uh, quarter notes then we go to the D string, 2nd fret to the 4th. We stay on this note for a bar and a half. Then we have the next part. So again, 4th fret on the A string, 2nd fret on the D, 2nd fret on the A again. Again, we stay on this note for bar and a half, and then we have again the beginning. But then we add the 2nd fret on the G string, going to the 2nd fret on the D string. We stay on this note for four beats, then we have open A string for two beats, then second fret for two beats, and then we play the E power chord. So that's the intro. One more time, the whole thing is gonna go like this. So after that, uh, the, uh, the song goes into um, higher tempo, so it speeds up and uh, the bass and drums are going on uh, for a few bars. And the guitar is silent, then we, have, uh, we go into the verse and uh, so we have the vocal singing a line and then the guitar is playing this uh, repetitive phrase which goes like this. <laughs> So here we're sliding, we're using double stops, we're sliding into, into the second fret on the G and the B strings. Stay on this double stop for a little while and then we have... So we go to the uh, next set of strings which is G and the D strings. Fourth fret, second fret, then we play the fourth fret two times. Little rest and going to the second fret here and let it re let it letting it ring out. Now keep in mind that uh, we're using also the swing feel here, so it's you know the first note is longer, the second note is shorter. So we apply that to the riff. So one more time, the whole riff slowly is gonna go like this. So sliding into the first one, letting it ring out and then playing with the double stops like that. So basically we repeat this uh, riff for four times as the uh, verse goes on. Um, so we have four lines of this. Then we go into the pre-chorus and uh, so it goes like this. Um, let me first play through then we're going to break it down. So it goes like this. Alright, 
so I'm gonna stop right here. So uh, it starts off with the E power chord. We play quarter notes for two bars, um, and then in the end of the fourth bar, in the end of the second bar, I'm sorry, on the four end, we go into to the B power chord. Hit it, let it renounce, then add a couple of more times hits on the uh, using the um, quarter notes. Uh, then we have like a passing notes here, open strings, going to the F sharp power chord for the whole bar. Then we re repeat again E power chord for two bars. B again. Now here in the ends, um, so you hit it three times, then the fourth time, and then you just simply lift off your finger and play this. It's kind of like um, an, um, an A power chord with the B in the bass, however you want to look at it. So just fretting the uh, second fret of the A, D and the G strings. Uh, let it ring out and then play it again on the fourth uh, beat of the bar. Go into the B and then we transition to the C sharp power chord. We, we play the C sharp power chord again for four times. And then we do the same as we did with the B. So on the fourth beat, you hit it to eighth note. So the power chord, and then again you lift up your finger and just play this on the um, on the fourth <coughs> on the fourth fret. I'm sorry, <coughs> on the fourth fret uh, again the A, D, and the G strings. Let it ring out, and then we go into we have open strings as a passing note notes and then we go into the chorus so um, that's pretty much it the explanation for the pre-chorus it's very simple so let me just play it through one more time slowly it's gonna go like this Next part is the chorus. So chorus, again, just using a few chords and pretty much just hitting them and letting them them ring out. So the first one is D. Uh, let it ring out for a whole bar. In the end, on the four end, you go and play uh, the A power chord. Also let it ring out. You can pick uh, the chords um, by the end of the bar. You know, before switching to the next one. Um, if you want to, just kind of to, um, you know, to uh, re-attack it, as to say. You know, then after the A, you can play like open strings as well, as passing notes. So going uh, to the E power chord, and then we have F sharp minor. All right, so the full, full uh, bar chord here. So that's the first part. Then again, we repeat the D, A. Hit the E chord, let it renounce, and then hit it again, stop, and then we go into the next part. So that's pretty much it for the chorus. One more time, the whole thing is gonna go like this. So after that part, we go back to sort of the beginning where again the bass is playing with the drums and we get into the second verse and um, we do the same kind of thing as we did with the first verse. So we have the vocal line singing and then we have um, a few phrases. Now here the phrases are going to change a little bit. So the first one is going to go like this. <laughs> So using double stop here on the uh, ninth fret of the high E, tenth fret on the B string, then you play eleven on the G, 
Then you have uh, another double stop on the 12th fret on the 1st and 2nd strings. B string open as a passing note and then we have this uh, bend so it's, it's happening on the G string kind of gradual bend on the 9th fret but at the same time you're fretting 10th fret on the, on the B string. And in the end you can let go of the B string and just concentrate on the G adding some vibrato. Like that. Or you can leave it out and you know, uh, using as a double stop. So, one more time, slowly. Alright, so we play this phrase two times. And then we have the next one, uh, which is pretty much like... Like this one, but we do it up an octave. Alright, so we slide into the 14th fret on the 2nd and 3rd strings and then you play um, 16, 14, 16, 16, 14 on the um, G and the D strings. And then you slide out. So it's pretty much the same, like I said, as we do it here. And then actually the last time, the 4th time, we do it like we did in the 1st. Uh, in the first verse, so down here. Um, so these are the three different lines that we do. The first one we, we play twice, like I said. Then we have this one and then uh, that one here. So after that, after the, the second verse, we go into the pre-chorus and the chorus, they're exactly the same as we did with the first one, so I'm not going to go through that. Um, it, the parts are exactly the same. Um, and then after that, we go into the next part, which is uh, kind of like a, an instrumental. And um, so we have the, the bass and the drums going on, uh, then there is an added synths and stuff like that and then uh, halfway through uh, the guitar comes in and uh, it's playing basically this this kind of repetitive uh, riff lick uh, phrase if you will so it's gonna go like this so we have here like uh, triads going on. So it starts off with this one, which is uh, 11th fret on the D string, 9 on G, and 10 on the B. Um, and then the next triad is on the 9th fret. All of the uh, strings are the same. So 2nd, 3rd, and 4th strings. So you play little rest. Then we have the 12th fret on the uh, G, I'm sorry, on the B and the D strings. Alright, so we're gonna play with these um, triads, double stops here. So it goes like this, the first one to the second one, little rest, then you play the double stop on the 12th fret, then you go back to the uh, first triad again. Then we have uh, muted strings and then ninth fret to the first triad. So that's the first part. Like that. Then we repeat it again. But in the end you ha you hit the muted strings and then you hit the first triad right away without the uh, without the ninth fret. Alright? So that's the only difference between the first and second parts. So let me play it one more time. Slowly it's gonna go like this. And actually we play this riff for three times. And then we have kind of similar one but using different uh, double stops. And here we are using double stop. So it's going to go like this. All 
Okay, so here we have 9th fret on the 1st and 3rd strings on the high E and the G. Going down to the 7th fret. Then we have um, 10 on high E and 11 on the, on the G strings. So we have... We hit it uh, two eighth notes here on the third uh, double stop. Then we're back to the ninth fret, seven. You hit the seven second time, you slide it up to the ninth fret and you hit that ninth fret again. So all together slowly, the first part is gonna go like this. All right, one more time. Then we repeat again the first part. And then we have. So you hit the 9th fret, go down to the 7, hit it twice and slide out. Okay, so that's the difference with the first part. So one more time. All right, now I'm gonna put the two parts together. Slow is gonna go like this. Moving on, on to the next part, we have open strings as passing notes, and then we, we hit. So this one is uh, it's kind of, you know, again, double stop a, a triad. Basically, the, the, um, the main strings here are the second and the third string on the second fret. It's kind of like a, an A power chord, but without the, the A in the bass. So, these are the main strings. If you catch the high E or the or and the D string on the second fret, that's totally fine. You know, because it's just hidden like, like that. So we have So that's the phrase. So you hit the uh, this double stop. Hit it first time, then we have a little rest, then you hit it second time, let it ring out, and then we have this uh, phrase which goes so it goes like this second to the fourth fret on the D string then you have G second fret back to the D string fourth fret then you have second to the fourth on the G and you bend it up as you bend it up you catch the high E on the second fret and then because the G string is bent up, you uh, hit the G string again and bring it down, pull off to the second fret, and then you go to the D string, fourth fret, then back to the second, hammering on onto the fourth, so you have, then G string second fret, and the D, fourth fret two times, and at some vibrato. So one more time, very slowly, this phrase. Then we repeat again the whole thing with the double stop. So you hit it twice and then again repeat the, the phrase. Adding some vibrato. And then after that we go right into the uh, solo, little solo. So we're going to continue, we're going to break it down into licks and phrases. And then in the end I'll play the whole thing. So it goes like this, we have... So we're sliding, we continue from... Uh, from the previous phrase here that we ended on on the D string fourth fret, then you go so slide from fourth fret to the sixth on the G, going to the fifth fret on the B string, and then you have hammer on from five to seven on the B string, catch the uh, high E on the fifth fret, but at the same time 
uh, keep fretting the uh, seventh fret on the B string. So you have, you know, this the uh, double stop um, effect going on. So uh, fifth fret on the high E, and then you pick the uh, the B string again on the, on the, on the B string, seventh fret on the B string. So one more time, the whole thing is gonna go like this. Then the next phrase again we have. So again, slide into the sixth fret on the G, go into the fifth fret on the B string, and then we have bend seventh fret on the high E string. You bend it up. As you stay on, on that bend, you uh, pick it again, bring it down, pull off to the fifth fret, and then go to the B string. Pick it two times on the seventh fret. Like that. Then we have the next phrase. Again, slide into the sixth fret on the G, fifth fret on the B. Then you have bend on the seventh fret and release on a high E and go right into the seventh fret on the B string. So it's like that and you do it two times. All right, so repeating this phrase twice. Then we have uh, the next part, which is a little bit tricky, it's a little bit fast. So you have hammer on five to seven on the B string, go into the fifth fret on the high E, and then we have going down it's sort of like a, a, a combination of scales. So here we have a chromatic uh, couple of runs. So on the high E string, you have seven, six, five. Same on the B string. Then we have, so here we have, it, it's all pull-offs. All right, so on the G string, we have um, fifth fret to the third to the second. And then we have on the D we have fourth fret pull off to the second fret, go into the A string fourth fret, and then we repeat it again. So you have two of these. Okay, and then we have so on the A string pull off from the fourth fret to the second, and then you can either use open A. I prefer using the uh, fifth fret on the a, on the low E string because it's the same kind of motion, you know, um, pull-offs. So ending on the second fret on the low E string. So it's like that. So all together, just this run is going to go like this slowly. All right, so after that run, we have uh, octaves going on. Uh, so it goes like this. So, like I said, we're doing octaves going up chromatically. So the octaves are going to be on the low E and the D strings. We start off with the F sharp. So uh, we alternate between the low E and the uh, D strings. It has a triplet feel to it, quarter notes triplet feel. So we have um, first octave we played like that. So it's um, five times and then you go uh, one fret up and you now start with the D string on the G note. You play it for, f um, so you start D string, low E, D, low E, D, low E, and then you go up again one fret, and now it's on the sixth fret on the D string. And you do it three times, alternating the D string and the low E. And then once you get to the A, you pick low E, D, low E, D, low E. 
then go down to the second fret. All right. So it goes like this slowly. And we stay on the uh, second fret of the low E string uh, for two bars. All right. So now I'm gonna go back to the beginning of the solo and play the whole solo, all of the uh, uh, licks and phrases together. Back to back slowly is gonna go like this. Moving on, on to the next part of the instrumental, we're going to be using um, again a double stop a sort of triad uh, and it's got this uh, syncopated rhythm going on. Uh, so it's going to be on the 14 frets on the first three strings, two or three strings. And like I said, it's got this syncopated rhythm. So the best way is to listen carefully and try to repeat it uh, at a slow speed first and then build up the speed. But um, let me explain. So the first part, we're going to break it up into parts. So the first one is going to go like this. So basically what we do, we hit the, um, the triad at a specific uh, time. So the first one is going to be on the on beat. And then the rest four times that we hit is going to be on the off beat. So I would suggest that you play with an upstroke these off beats. So the first is down and then up, 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 up. And then we're going to be adding this note on the 16th fret on the, on the D string. So that's the first part. Like that. Then we move on to the second part. So here we have uh, down, up on the first beat. And then the rest the four times that we hit is going to be on the off beat again. So we have right. So the four times that we hit with an upstroke on the off beat, then we go to the again 16 fret on the D string, and we play it two times. So you hit it two times, let it ring out. So it's going to be like this again slowly. Then we move on to the third part. Again, it's going to be on the off beat. Uh, all of the four hits that we do are on the off beat. So we we played with an upstroke, and then we have this little lick. So it's um, in the end. We do it in the end. So it's uh, on the D string, 14 to 16. And again, just uh, don't forget that we are doing, we are playing with the uh, with the swing feel. So the first note is longer, and then the second note is shorter. So 14 to 16 on the D. Then you go for the G string right away for the bend. You bend it up, and as you stay on the bend, you catch the B string on the 17th 17th fret, and then. You bring down the string and you play 16 to 14. One more time. So um, that's the uh, phrase again. Uh, combining it with the uh, with the triads with the upstroke is going to go like this. Then the next part again, starting with the on beat. So we have. So here we have just two off beats. First one is down up, and then two up strokes, and then we have this double stop bend on the B and the G strings on the 16th fret. Um, so it's kind of gradual bends also on the off beats. 
So the first one, then the second one, then we have like a passing note here, or just because he was switching to the uh, next set of strings, you know, it's just um, a passing note here. But then we go to the... So that's the ending. So basically what we have is again we're bending the double stop which is on the 17th fret on the first and two and second strings. So the first one is going to be on the on beat and then the rest, the three times that we do are going to be on the off beat. All right? And it's it's a double stop so it's not a full band. It's kind of three quarters uh, half a step, something like that. Doesn't really matter because it, you know, goes by real fast. So, uh, so yeah. So the first one on the on beat, and then the uh, next uh, three times on the off beat, and then the last one you hit it, you bring it down, you hit it, and quickly bring down, and then you go into this. So it's 14 to 16 on the B string. And you bend up, kind of half a step, uh, full step maybe, you know, it doesn't really matter. And then we have, again using triplet feel here with the quarter notes, but we start with the 14 on the B string, then you go to the G17, 16, 14, 16, and then you jump uh, to the A string, 14 to 16. One more time. Like that. So that's that part. Um, I'm gonna go back to the beginning of it and play the whole thing. Um, so slowly, very slowly, it's gonna go like this. Moving on, we have a drum break uh, going on there, and then we have sort of like an interlude, um, just playing a few phrases uh, there. So the first one is going to go like this. So we start off with the second fret on the low E, then we go to the A string, open, third to the second frets. And again, we have this kind of uh, triplet feel to it. Then the second part. So second fret on the low E, open to the second on the A, and back to the second fret on the uh, low E. Then we repeat again this phrase. Then we go to the next phrase, which goes like this. So it's open A string to the onto the fourth fret. Then you go to the D string second to the first frets. And then open to the fourth on the A. First to first on the D string. Open A string. So one more time, slowly. Again, repeat it one more time. Then moving on onto the next phrase is gonna go like this. So it starts off with the second on the low E. Then we go to the A string open, third to the second frets. Then third to the fourth frets. And then you go to the D string two, three, four. And then finish off on the second fret of the A string. So one more time, the whole thing. All right, and then the ending phrase is gonna be like this. So again, the beginning, just like in the first, Part. So we have 2nd fret on the low E, 
Then on the A we have open, three, two, three, four. And then we have open, two, four on the A. And low E string open. So it's... Like that. So if I play the whole interludes, all of the parts together, it's gonna go like this. Moving on, then we go into the uh, last verse. Again, we have uh, you know pre-verse um, kind of instrumental going on the, with the bass and the drums and so on. Then we get into the um, into the verse, and we have um, a few a few phrases that are different to the uh, first and second verses. So again, we have uh, a singing line, vocal line going on, and then the guitar is playing the uh, the phrase. So the first phrase is going to go like this. So we have here uh, fourth fret on the G string. You bend it up two times. Then you catch it again. You pick it again. Bring it down. Uh, bring it down again. Bend up. And then second fret on the uh, on the same string. So it's. Like that. Then the next phrase we have. Uh, so just single notes here, uh, starting on the uh, D string, second to the fourth fret, G second fret, back to the D fourth fret, G string two four five, second fret on the B, and then you go back on the G string five four two. So it's and he plays them in a kind of like a straight eighth notes like that. Then the next phrase we have is a so it's a double stop, sixth fret on the G seven fret on the um, on the B string. And have this kind of staccato going on. So staccato meaning you just hit the note. You don't let it ring out the notes, um, and so it's it's like a, a rest, um, a little rest in between the notes. So it's so four times in a specific rhythm, and then the last one you slide out. All right. Then we have the next phrase. So here just a, a big bend, a step and a half on the 11th fret on the G string. So it's bent and kind of a gradual release. Then you bend it up again. Then you bring it down. And you peak 11th fret at some vibrato. Like that. Next phrase. So here, sliding from the 9th fret to 11th fret on the G string, going to the 10th fret on the B, and then you have 12th 10, again using staccato, meaning kind of short notes, and then you have, so it's 11 on G, 10, 12, 10 on the B, then you have two bands on the 12th fret, 8th notes, and then you play another band. All right, one more time. Like that. Then the next one we have. So on the B string, 12th fret, bend it. Um, it's a little kind of like over bend of the uh, whole step. 
and then you do two more you do one more bend and as you stay on the bend you pick the note bring it down and then 10 fret S on vibrato like that then the next phrase we have so it's second fret to the fourth on the D string eighth notes and then we have so it's kind of outlining like a chord it's like an A uh, the first inversion but we play starting with the G string second fret and then you add onto this note so all of these ring ring out so second fret on the G second fret on D and fourth fret on the A string and then you have back again to the D string 2nd fret and then you add 4th fret on the D string with the vibrato so we have okay like that and then the last uh, phrase that we have 14th fret on the B string so we go up um, an octave here 14th fret on the B string, then you have bend on the 17th fret on the high E string. So the first one, a little rest and then you play again the bend. And then one more time. Bend, release, pick the note, 14 and slide out. Alright, so after that we go into the pre-chorus and chorus, which are exactly the same as uh, what we did uh, in the first and second pre-chorus and chorus. And, um, you know, there is a, just a minor detail here and there. I mean, when he's playing the second round of the, uh, the pre-chorus. So basically, for the, for the pre-chorus, again, we have... When he plays the second time, so you know this kind of transitioning part is just uh, before before you go to the B chord. So it's just a second fret to the fourth on the A, and you go second fret on the D string. You know, but that's just a minor detail. So you play six times the E power chord, one, two, three, four, one, two, and then you play. This transition in part, and then you go to the B chord. And you know, the rest is exactly the same. And then we have the chorus. Now, the chorus, we play this, uh, this chord progression for three times, and then the last time, the fourth time, you have. You know, with the stop, and uh, then it goes into the ending. So for the ending, the guitar is pretty much is silent. Both of the guitars. I actually have to mention that there is also a slide guitar, but we're not going to um, look at it in in this uh, lesson. So um, in the ending, you know, the, the, both of the guitars are silent, and then at one point they start playing. <laughs> I think for eight bars or something like that, just playing the uh, F sharp minor seven chord, you know, with the uh, uh, with the quarter notes. I'm not gonna play all of it, but you get the uh, you get the idea, and you know that's how the song stops with with this chord, and and uh, uh, pretty much that's it for the uh, entire song. Alright guys, so that was it for this lesson. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Also comment, share, subscribe if you are new to my channel. Don't forget to visit guitarforce.com for more guitar lessons. In the meantime, I'll see you again. Take it easy and as always, let the force be with you.